So greetings everyone. Today we are gathered here on my floor to look at something that I want to go over. Not necessarily something that is like the best pro versus pro game in the history of ever or not necessarily the most amazing group of Go legends playing each other or things like that. We are gathered here to take a look at Legend 88, one of Legend 88's games. Now, you might remember Legend 88, uh, more specifically. I've gone over a couple of his games before, most noticeably when he played the happy little guy that took Tengen and then proceeded to invade all the corners. You might remember that game. You would then remember from that game that Legend 88 is a professional player who once upon a time ranked up on Taijem from 5 Don to 9 Don undefeated. He ranked up in such a way that I can only describe it as inspiration for my basic series, to be honest. So I love look looking at these games, not only to learn something new, but also to refresh how I think about the game of Go. Whenever I start getting too complicated, um, maybe too aggressive, things like that, I love going back to this guy's series of games and just kind of reminding myself that there are uh, higher ways to play, as it were. And I think you'll see what I'm talking about by the end of the game. Uh, the game I'm play, I'm going to be going over first is one of his games versus a 7-don on Taijem. Not one of those measly little 5-dons, but uh, against a 7-don. And he is, I want to say, black? Sorry, forgive me, I'm across the room so I can hardly read my monitor. Uh, but yes, I do believe he is black in this first game. So, black opens up in the upper right hand corner with a 4-4 four, four point. White says, I'm gonna go grab myself a corner. Now right away it's kind of interesting because one of the things that I mention in almost every single pro game that we go over is pros tend to take this corner and invite anything and everything from their opponent. But us weak little amateurs are like, no, I am not comfortable with the diagonal opening. I don't want you to play that. Maybe it's a hint of weaknesses to come. Who knows? Who knows? Three, four stone. Offer got many different possibilities. Hey, look at that. We got mirror go going on. From here, we could do a lot of things as black. We could go and play a low Chinese, a high Chinese. We can play here for a Kobayashi. We can approach the upper left corner. I mean, you could do whatever you want, and guess what? They are all completely fine. Nothing to worry about there. White says, I'm going to take territory. Probably one of the two most common responses that you can find here. I would say nowadays the other one is here. And if your opponent's feeling particularly feisty, maybe here. But that's pretty much the three most common. Black on it. And white's gonna just go ahead and connect, why not? We're not going to finish Jiseki in the corner because that is slow and boring. We could do this and this and this and something over here and we could respond to that and our opponent can go over here and we could respond to that. But it's kind of... anyway. That is boring. So we're not going to play that way. Instead, we approach to try to play as quickly as we can. And white normally would say something like this. White usually backs off, and then we continue our Kuseki with something like this. Could play here. Could play here, could play wherever. Nice, sad opening. However, 
white is not going to do that in this game. He feels like being special and attacking black's two stones. So, all right. Question is, what do we do from here? Well, we could panic and play away and give our opponents, you know, another move. Could do it, could do it, could do it. Instead, black plays even simpler and says, you know what? I'm going to simply double approach you. I can treat that lightly. You can, you can keep going on over here and doing whatever you want. So now we get into a nice little Jusaki, kind of like something like this. Do 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 do. Hane and extend, looking to try to build. Black asks the lovely question, what do you want to get? This is Legend 88 as black versus I have no idea who is white. Seven Don, Taijem. White blocks, saying, I want to build. Then black connects back and says, that's fine by me. You can build if you like. And so far, we have a nice simple variation here. Impossible to get wrong. We just Atari like so. There's cutting points here. We don't want our opponent to take either of these points. So we're just going to go and defend them. Something a bit like that. White's going to turn. Now here's an interesting part where a lot of players get um, a little bit greedy. Little bit greedy. People get a little bit greedy here. They decide, you know what? I got Shinte. I do got Shinte. So I'm going to play something like here that gives me no points right now. And in exchange, you get to Atari here and quite possibly completely enclose my corner in exchange for me making no points. Or I'm going to approach here and then maybe I build up something here or I build up into the middle or who knows. But there's no reason to really do that when we can happily develop this side of the board still. We've got a corner here, don't forget. We can absolutely build in this area. And so there's no reason for us to play away. Only reason why we would play away right here is if we're really, really jealous about what black is, or what white is getting, right? So the question is, do we have to be jealous about what white is getting? So for that answer, we must figure out a couple of things. Thing number one, is this territory? What do you think, chat? Is, is this territory right here? If you're saying that is absolutely territory because I'd never do anything about it, then you need to learn how to invade. Because right now we could quite literally skid, whoops. We could quite literally skedaddle and just run away. We could leave that way. I ain't territory yet. We could do some shoulder hitty shenaniganry thingies up in here and play lightly. So that's not territory yet. That is in no way territory. That is completely open to invasion or absolute 100% reduction. But this, this is territory. We're picking up territory here. So it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. White says, I'm going to defend myself. Ooh. Black says, OK. This is a lovely move straight out of the basic series. 
This is not getting jealous over the points that white is trying to make, and instead is just playing to our potential. Because if we imagine an enclosure right now, or if we want to go all alpha go we manage the, imagine this enclosure right now, or even kind of a framework, we can see that what our potential is vastly outstrips what white's potential is. So there's no reason to go crazy over that kind of thing. So right now, this is like 100% pure basic direction of play lesson, starring Legend 88 as black. What professionally is, we do not know, nor do we care. In for the penny, in for the pound, White says, This is my territory, which admittedly is not bad. Four, five, six, seventh line. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, you know, six, twelve, eighteen. Mm, 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 mm. That's some points. Plus Comey. Plus Comey might make this, you know, kind of large. But, you know, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, if we get this, 18, 20, that's, that's, that's not bad, it's not bad. So the question is, what do we do now? Well, we could do the enclosure, but white's area now is kind of aimed towards that area of the board right now, like white wants to get maybe something here into something here you can kind of imagine like this is a wall this is the beginning of another wall and then the extension kind of finishing off another wall so we can kind of picture this as development for white's uh, potential so instead of doing something over here black's just like okay your potential is kind of being seriously mitigated now and the upshot of that we could potentially keep developing later right so it kind of serves two purposes which is really really special white is left with no choice but to invade now how do we answer this move do we go for territory do we pincer? Do we play low? Do we play high? Do we play away? Do we play Tengen? Oh, 16. Um, I can't really read the coordinates because I'm stupid. I think I see where you're wanting. Oh, 15? Wait, oh, 16 is the... Oh, fourth line. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Hmm, I like high. You good pincer? <laughs> Key 15 is not a an invasion, it's just kind of a reduction, sorry. We're kind of like limiting potential. Pincer, two space high. Oh, the people who want to pincer. You guys are, I love the, I love the, I suggested that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Because we've got development here, right? This says I don't know where my development is coming from. Like maybe I can develop something in here. I'm just gonna put pressure on him and I don't know, see where this goes. But what happened to our awesome development over here, right? Instead, my development's here. I'm gonna attach to develop here. Easy, simple, and basic. Where's that potential? Potential's right here. Okay, let's prevent this stone from going that way. But I want to kill white. Do not worry, Rastafarian. You'll be dead eventually, man. So... Here we go. La 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 la. Just developing my area. Because we ain't jealous of no thing. Nice, simple, peaceful. Um. Uh, 
basics is usually we don't touch weak stones. I would argue that this is not a weak stone because it can get out and can get a base and can do a lot of stuff right now. This necessarily not necessarily weak. Usually we don't attach to stones unless we have a very 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 good reason, Brepost. That's the that's the that's the key right there. Like let's say nothing was on the board right now, and I'm not about to clear it off to show you. Let's say nothing was on the board right now, and like white approached, like second move, we probably wouldn't attach. Or maybe the corners were taken, then someone approached, and then we probably won't attach for no reason. We have no, we have nothing to develop right here. We have nothing in place. So we're probably not going to even entertain the idea of an attachment, but like maybe if we had some other stones, then we would, because we're attaching for a reason. Um, here, same idea. There's something significant here, so we're attaching for a reason. Like attaching is not a good idea simply to attach but if you have a reason to do it it can be and in this case we can see the reason plain as day we be developing yo so white atari black connects by it extends Normal Jiseki here is to Atari, but since we've already got backup, we know this stone. Can't really run. So we don't have any real reason to Atari it. Like, this would be kind of bad to play if we hadn't already cut off where it's going to. Because, like, you take this stone out of the equation, and suddenly you're about to lose everything because you're just impatient. You know? But here, that stone cannot run out, so we Gucci. I need to stop saying that. So white's like, I'm getting territory. And black is like, I want a honey at head of three stones. And white replies, never heard that before. I'm take your corner. Now here's the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. You know how we keep beating the dead horse of proverbs and like, be wary of that honey at the head of three stones and be wary of cutting points and whatnot. You see, here's, here's, the, here's where amateurs tend to go wrong. I don't care what rank you are. Seven Don, uh, Q, whatever. Don't care what you are. We tend to get impatient to do something else. Like, we know something is a good shape, but we ain't got time for that nonsense. We got moves to play and things to do. So, who cares at what shape we're making? We're going to overextend and try to get something more because, let's face it, when's the last time someone's actually called you out successfully on anything stupid that you've tried to do on the board, right? You probably get away with it a lot, right? So here we go, leaving a lot of Aji behind. Now we have to ask a wonderful question. Can we kill this? Probably, right? Being careful. Threatening the outside. White says, I kill you. Or, I live, rather. Maximizing liberties, threatening uh, reduction of all the things. Forced to go back and live in the corner. If we try and do something like this, this is not alive locally, ever. And this will still live. I mean, we can't really do anything about this right now. There's too many liberties to here to the four in here. Right?
So we play here, which means white gets to come out. Congratulations. You, sir, just had to leave that cutting point behind. But it's okay. He's going to reduce. And black immediately solves the problem. He's not like, well, maybe I can play here first. Like, nope. Yeah, this is a threat because of my cutting point. If you Atari this stone, it's not big because we have other things to do, right? So you go take that stone. And white says, I don't mind if I do. Black says, all right, then I'm going to honey over you. That is the second mistake that a lot of amateurs have to play. The assumption that small things, and again, don't care what rank you're at. We've seen this in DDK uh, level of play as well. The idea that our opponent is going to respond to everything that we're doing because reasons. But no. Black has other things he wants to do. He wants to hollow the head of the three stone because of those stones are weak. Now, this next part is not for the faint of hearted. Uh, white hanes, black clamps. And then we get a very odd result here. Nice straight up trade. That's against, that's against uh, many of your sensibilities. We're, tra we're straight up trading. We're straight up going to trade the outside for those stones. Don't even care. Forcing him to capture it. Forcing him to capture it. Um, white stone. Forcing the capture, forcing the capture, la 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 la. So we got four stones in exchange for the five, right? And we did that. In Sente. So we have a straight up trade. We got some stones, mad thickness for over here, which we were willing to develop because that's why one of the reasons why we played that stone. This area can be salvaged later, a large majority of it. And further plays here are probably going to be uh, goats, right? So what next? What next? Now, like a complete moron, I would be like, playing here to see if I couldn't possibly try and keep building. That would be my idea. That is because I don't respect Aji enough. Like I think I thought I did because I would be looking at, you know, using the gap here to keep growing, right? But apparently there's more Aji here than I give it credit for. This investment of whites, this really bizarre shape, you've probably never seen another pro play. Black says there's more Aji there than you think. Immediately we can see why he says that. There's a gap. So we're easily aiming at coming out, but we're also aiming at going under. 
and we also have things like this, right? So can you really kill this group? White says, stupid, you can't live here. So black says, are you sure? White says, yes, you had a mine. And white says, are you sure? White says, I will not repeat myself a second time. You are dead. But that's a small knight, and that's a cutting point. That means that's Aji. That is Aji if I've ever seen Aji. Trying to keep all the things in. And now we've got a severe problem on our hands. It would appear that we're cut off. We can Atari. We can connect. But notice where the stone is. That stone is in a very interesting place, don't you think? It's all happily ready to cut. Now we're probably going to get into a capture race if we try and do something over here. So we've got to maximize our stuffs. So we're getting shape. Getting eye, point, eye shapies. Could just be a straight up one eye versus no eye. Kind of have to ask white and find out. It's like, what are, what are we doing here? What's going on, White? And White's just like, I want to live. It's like, OK, I want liberties. One eye for black, confirmed. One eye for white. Confirmed. However, there's a tiny, it's, it's, it's funny, tiny liberty shortage issue on the white group on account that it has no liberties. So we throw in. Shrink them liberties. Shrink them liberties. Threaten to connect under. Shrinky the liberties. Reduce a liberty while threatening another eye. That sucks. And to make matters worse, the outside is most regretfully not exactly alive right now when it has nowhere to go. I mean, this in and of itself has one, two, three, four, five liberties, which is a problem. But the outside has three, and this is one, two, three, four, five, what, six? That's, that's a problem. Nowhere to go. Tries to go, no, tries to go there anyway. Still no, wait, wrong one. Um, I feel like I messed up. How'd that happen? Turn, jump, right, turn, jump. You got the turn, you got the jump, you got that, that we fixed, right? 
Oh, right. Okay. I'm an idiot. Duh. We played there instead. Keep him out. Keep him from running away. Gotcha. So we played here. This doesn't matter anymore because we're just going to go here. That turns into a bamboo joint. Problem with bamboo joints is they don't, uh, they're not exactly known for their uh, high liberty count bamboo joints. And uh, we're still at three liberties with um, kind of nowhere to go. And White resigns. White was just looking for a resignation point, and he decided that no co being here is uh, where we're gonna where we're gonna end it. That is that is that is gonna be the end of that. So this was a nice game detailing both direction of play. Blacks was amazing. Uh, strong shape. We did not compromise shape here. We didn't compromise shape here, but white was making kind of weird shapes, wasn't he? He was trying to do some like weird things here that left a huge gap. He was trying to do weird things here, like overextend, which left the honey at the head of the three stones, which left the cutting point. Now against maybe another seven don, maybe he gets away with that. Maybe a seven don would be very hesitant to maybe cut and go down a variation where they can't quite read things out and wouldn't want to risk the game on an incorrect cut, you know? But yeah, when you leave that Aji behind, guess who just gets wrecked? So this was very much a game that looked like one player, in this case white, did not know the rules of the game, and black just simply did. Without even trying anything weird, right? I mean, this, this exchange was interesting. But I think it was pretty basic. I think it was pretty basic. And that is why I like uh, looking at Legend 88's games. They're nice, simple, and very straightforward. What he's doing is never hidden from you. And everyone should usually be able to follow it, which is why we're also going over another game of his. Use minimize. Are you, so you, was he white this time? No, he was black in both games. I wasn't over a white game, but I guess today we're going to go over two black games, which sounds really bad when I say it like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of these stones. Did I just mix those? I didn't. Okay, good. I've done that before while cleaning up. Just put a huge handful of white stone in the wrong bowl. All right. Do, 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 do. So, once again, we have Legend 88 as black, it would appear, because I guess that's just what I selected today. Upper right corner taken once again, and sure enough, the lower left as well taken. Very much not a uh, modern way of opening in a, in a little bit of, in a little... Little, little bit of a difference there, a little bit of a difference, but I find it interesting that the amateurs are the ones that do that. I mean, you've seen me in my games online. I, I take that corner too rather than invite the diagonal. Pros, not so much. Even pros playing online against other pros usually always take and invite whatever. Legend is black again. Though I don't think I have to tell you that to be honest. I think it'll I think that'll be quite apparent before too long. White backs off, not doing anything tricky.
Mini Chinese. My favorite. Not a fan of the micro. Just never grew on me, what can I say? Black decides to split high, which, okay. It's not the worst move. It's, it's an okay move. When you split low, there's so many different things that you could do. I mean, I've mentioned a couple of them. You can attach, you can shoulder hit, you can approach from here, you can approach from here. I mean, you can do all sorts of annoying things against the low. Maybe he's playing high to dodge some of those more annoying. Uh, once again, we have white as a 7 don on Tickums. Same as last. Same as last. So black approach. And white, apparently, before AlphaGo was a thing, fancies himself as AlphaGo. Because he's just going to play all over the place and make some light shapes and do whatever. How should, how should black respond? I didn't give it away. Whoa. I didn't give it away. I just, I just hovered over here. How should black respond to this? Because this is, this is a thing that would make you think for a while. I mean, you've got two basic responses, right? You can go here or you can go here. Which one you want to do? L16, this one. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. Don't really want to go this way because your opponent wants to go that way. Your opponent can't wait to go that way. Technically, your opponent will go as far over as you want. Like, you could do this all day, and he'll just keep playing over here. Because if we were to play something like this, and I know none of you would because you're not this terrible, but let's just say someone on YouTube would, then, you know, you shouldn't really play that because this is an amazing result. Considering this used to be a Chinese variation that was like hard to approach. And yeah, now we're just getting massive thickness and extension from it while black loses almost all potential ever. Good result for white. But of course, you guys wouldn't play that way. Now, who on YouTube would play that way? I don't know, actually. I was just making things up. So instead, black extends up. Now it is up to white to figure out what to do. And white says, answers, judges. Attachment. We're going to attach to the three four stone, cause we're just gonna we're gonna hit all the things and get shape. White has learned that shape is a thing. Now, to be fair, rumor has it AlphaGo likes doing things like that too, right? So, I mean, why not, right? Once again. We're going to respond basic. We're not getting, we're not giving white what he wants. White wants us to Hane so we can cross cut and make complications. But Legend's a pro. Legend's not gonna get sucked into that kind of great, that kind of game. Uh uh. It's like, dude, do whatever you want, my man. It's like, I want the corner. No, that you can't actually have. Here we are okay with dropping down, because keep in mind, he's undercut here, and we can Hane above here. So right now, there's no shame in our game. We can drop down, it's cool. Look at white making a base, and Hane ahead of two stones. Why not 3-3 three, three for black, though? What would be the 3-3? Three, three? I'm confused. This is the 3-3. Three, three. Huh? Not sure when you wanted the 3-3 to be played before here. Um, 
Oh, you mean, oh, you mean, ah, you mean, ah, 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 you mean here, um, because then our opponent, annoyingly enough, keeps us low, we're kind of connecting everything up, right? This is kind of turning into a success for blue, for white. But if we play here, if he goes up, we're going through. So instead he goes down, and then we go down as well. And now he's forced to get a base, which we can hide out of two stones of, because of Proverbs are amazing. White honey, black honey. Connection. Which one do we do? Who wants to play here? Who wants to play here? And who wants to play here? And who wants to play here? What do you guys want to play? connect a lot of people ooh someone said tiger smile thank you wrong answer so we don't do that one because the hane makes this stone weak it only has two liberties right i was hoping for someone to advocate the tiger's mouth thank you tmtvl appreciate it but yeah this makes that stone weak now we're gonna like back off i guess and our opponent just gets to follow. And once again, high had a two stones, three stones. Oh, the higher one. Uh, okay, that one we also aren't going to do. If we do this one, same thing. If we do this one, that leaves the clamp uh, quite happily behind. We drop down the cut, and then our stone's dead. Or we just cut. That might work too, now that I think about it. Yeah, one of the two. Either way, not good. But if we connect, we got the cut taken care of, right? If our opponent does this, can we read it? Bam! Red. Easy. If our opponent clamps, do we got it red? Yup, got it red. Nice and simple. So white says, I'm out. And black says, no you ain't. Once again, shapes are thing. You are trying to run away with a small knight. That small knight. As we can see now, maybe it works against uh, lower dons, maybe it works against cues, but we can see here that cut is just something that flat out doesn't work. That small knight, I'm sorry, but it was an overplay. And not noticing that overplay, so huge, just gets away with going out and connecting. So all right. That. There we go. All right. Now it looks like we're doing OK. Now it looks like we're doing OK. Now we actually get to connect out in exchange for losing a stone later in Sente. Like maybe black has to play here, he's immediately play here. He's not bad, he's not bad. But white has now given black sente. And once again, we're going back to basics. We know there are large points on the board, but large but basics say we take care of our weak positions first. 
And we're a little bit sketchy in here because we haven't really protected this yet, right? So black defense. Extreme basics. You can kind of see how these legend games were very much the uh, inspiration for the Back to Basics series. Why these are the games that I keep looking back to. When I need that kind of mental adjustment. White's going to attack. Not defend his corner. So, all right, there we go. White plays an aggressive, aggressive variation because lo and behold, he's a seven Don. He knows Tricky Jaseki. He's not like one of those low Dons that doesn't know Jaseki anymore or one of those Qs who haven't even heard of these variations before. Now, he, he knows, he knows, he knows. Yep, he knows how to play these variations. Oh yeah, he does. But then again, no he doesn't because we can connect here because that ladder, oops. Usually we extend and fight this, but we're not really going to do that right now, right? So, tries to escape. Black says you can leave. So white leaves. Thanks for your two stones. Much appreciate your contribution. Thank you very much. I like the enclosure. The enclosure is good. The enclosure is nicely basic. We have Sente. What's the last move our opponent didn't follow up? That would be this one. Not defending the 3-3 when we jumped up because this is a really huge thing to have lo uh, looming over your head. As we can see here. Now, a mistake a lot of amateurs make uh, when they're doing this one is playing the Hane here first. That's actually not where you want to play because it offers your opponent the option of just like backing off and getting, you know, Sente from here to then go back and make a large point or something, right? So instead, whoa, instead, we extend up for maximum profit. Our opponent has to play here to not get cut. We get to Hane and Hane and connect and connect and mistake number two, trying to fight the connection by playing the Hane is a really big mistake. The assumption here, our opponent's going to respond. But our opponent doesn't have to respond. If you play here, your opponent has to respond because this is not alive yet, right? This is a Kona that we can kill. So this is, this is usually responded to, right? If you play here, then you've left this behind, so the corner is not going to die. Which means that was Gote, and last I checked, we're stronger here. There's not a lot of points, we don't have to really defend them. But white, white needed a base here. White really, 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 really needed a base here. 
And because he played the Hane and gave up Sente, because this is now completely alive, and this is too small to care about, we get to go and take his base away. Trying to get tricky. Attach for strength, and then pincer, oldest rule in the book. Simply backs off, leaves the Hane behind. Trying to get something done. The black ain't having it. Mm -mm. Black not caring at all. Leans here. Again, probably thought it was Sente. But it isn't. It would have. It, 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 you only had this. The corner would be dead. But you don't have this. Therefore, it's not. Therefore, it's not dead. This is just sad. Like, yep. You can play there. But as long as I play here, you can't kill me. Long as I got this one, you can't kill me. Nicely connected. Now here is another instance of how we know that black is a professional. Like, we could seriously flirt with the idea of Hane on the inside and trying to kill this group. It leaves cutting points and it gets complicated. But you know what? Black's not even going to care. Like, maybe we could kill this if we really wanted to. Who cares? I'm going to remain strong. Nice and solid. Remember, we don't even care if he's alive or dead because of what we're getting on the outside. Sound familiar? White gets to live. Guess what? So does black. Alive. Alive and extend. So let's take a look at where White's territory is. We're gonna need a magnifying glass because it's kind of small. We got a little, got some points in here. I do mean some. We've got some points in here. Once again, I do mean some, and maybe a corner. Black's got some thickness, a couple of corners. Mm-hmm. Because he just had to play a move that he thought was going to be Sente. Even amateur seven dons play small moves that don't have to be responded to. We saw it last game. We saw it this game. So just imagine how many moves your opponents are playing that don't have to be responded to or too slow to respond to because there's something larger to play on the board. Like, if you're seeing them from seven dons, where are you in the ranking system? But all right, we're going to go and take all of our points back, says White. Take those stones off the board. Bloop. Voila, we have points again. So 
So, where do we play next? Do 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 do. We could make sure those stones are dead. We could come out. We could three three. Q A. Where's Q8? Is this the line? Alright, so fourth line. Is this Q8? Ah, that's Q8. You're really close. You're really close. You're really close. This says go ahead and kill off that stone. Go ahead, kill off that stone. If you cut and kill off that stone, we can keep building. White says, I'm not falling for that. Black says, you didn't have a choice, stupid. Now you're cut off. But, all right, we're getting an attack. Time to defend ourselves first. Defend our weakest group, which is these two stones. Uh-oh, we're under attack. <gasps> we're under attack. So we threaten to connect up, because keep in mind, that's a connection now. Time to attack. Just gonna go ahead and sidestep that and leave. Defending the Hane with a very, very bad shape, but sure. Jumps out. Extends because group, remember, group important. White says, you stupid fuel, I will chase and kill you. White says, or black says, yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Black says, or white says, you're dead now. Um... Uh, <laughs> problem about being dead. Problem about being dead is um, it's a problem. It's a problem. Bl white black continues to murder the hell out of the bottom group. So black cut white cuts it off. I keep skipping those. Sorry about that. Now you would think this is a straight up exchange, right? This is a straight up exchange here for here, right? But is it really chat? Look at all those stones white surrounded black with. Do you know what I see? I see small knights. Rumor has it, there's a thing you can do with small knights. Yeah. Turns out they can be cut. Turns out uh, the small knights Turns out the small knights can be cut. So, here we go. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ask simple question. Can I escape? 
White says, I just, whatever you want, just don't kill me. So we leave. Time to try to live. Not allowed. Sorry. These are not the exchanges you were looking for. Gotta try to make some kind of eye shape. Gonna just secure our, our kill on the bottom side. Look, isn't it cute? We're gonna go try to kill our opponent again. Atari, extend. Creating cutting points. This is uh, not looking good for, uh, for white anymore. All of those cutting points after we maximized our liberties? Do you really think they aren't going to do anything? Do you really think they aren't going to do anything? Once again, it seems like one person knows the rules to the game and the other person does not. Best he can hope for now is Seki. However, big however, there are too many cutting points on this board. Well, true, Ryota, there is a technically a Ko, but there's no reason to go after it right now, is there? I mean, at best, what are you going to do? Ko for Seki as white? Dude, that's bad. No Ko today. No Ko today. La 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 la, just surrounding some stuff. Just falsifying your eyes. Hey, looky, here's a here's a fun life and death problem. Gonna try and extend a live. Okay. Gonna try and hane and prevent all that. Oops. That's a co. Which white declines. So black goes back and plays here. And worse yet, there's still the Atari here. Still the Atari here. Black extends. Tries to jump away. We threaten to wedge in and kill it. White has to try to protect if he wants to not be dead. Once again, we're threatening to kill it. How many liberties does white have? Well, there goes one. And there goes another. And rip that one. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But it's Seki, so we can't capture it. Oops. Well, clearly, we need to go to Co. It's the only thing we can try here. 
and black could care less because that is an insanely large amount of code uh, large amount of code and keep in mind we have one two three four right now if for some weirdo reason we try and do that that's gonna take forever that move is a huge mistake more on that in a minute um, go ahead and threaten there no pushy cutties more liberties height had a three stones I think not Time to begin capture race. Atari will not give in. Now, where are Black's threats? Where are Black's threats? Here's the question. Let's see how good you guys are at finding co-threats. Where are the co-threats for Black? If you said there are co-threats over on the right, or left, sorry, you'd be quite correct. That is a code threat, as Ryota is pointing out. I'll take another huge mistake for a hundred. All right, who can read it? If you are a Don player, you can read this. If you're a five Q, you better be able to read this too. And since I called attention to it, I think even 10 Qs can read it. Maybe not 10 Qs. I think 10 Qs. And 11? Ooh, I think you got it. I think you got it. I think you got it. And the co immediately. And subsequently the game. Because there is no defense from this. Oops. So a couple of stones may have died this game. By a couple I mean these here. Just just some of these. A couple of these stones may have died this game. So that is Legend 88 versus Seven Don on Tie Gem. Things don't uh, go too badly, but once Legend sees the Aji, you're leaving behind to try to ex overextend and take more. He is really great at calling that out. It's like, no, look, that's no. If you want to play that way, you're going to have to earn it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, these games. I hope you can kind of see why I said they're kind of like the professional version of basics games. And I hope you can also see how they were kind of like the inspiration for the Back to Basics series, which I will of course continue to do.